Hey everyone, it's Heath from Homes on Wheels and welcome back to another edition. We are back out at Clayton Homes in Alexandria, Alabama today and we are going to tour a really nice home called the Lewis. It's 1,736 square feet. It's got three bedrooms and two baths and for you people that are always asking about one with a little less open floor plan, this is your home. Let's go on in and take a look. We'll pop the floor plan up right now and let you see what it has. And as we come in the front door, as I said, it is kind of an, uh, broken up a little bit. It's got a little bit of openness, but not too much. So you've got your kitchen that is attached to your living room, and this is a formal living room. It also has a den. I'm going to show you that here in just a second. We'll pan over and take a look. And you've got your can lighting in the ceiling. You've got your uh, vinyl uh, flooring here. Ceiling fan, got the beam separating it out. Overlook the, uh, the beeping uh, fire or smoke alarms. Now the heating and air is in the floor. I was just talking to the manager uh, here and he was telling me that there are things that are customizable uh, with this home and several other homes. For example, if you want carpet or don't want carpet in certain homes, you can do that. This is a huge kitchen area. We're just going to pan back across here. And also your eating area is uh, off, set off to itself in its own little room. So I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. We're going to take a little bit more look at the kitchen here. Got your Frigidaire, stainless steel, refrigerator there, cabinets overhead. Your stainless steel range and hood, exhaust hood. Plenty of storage. I like those little uh, cabinets in the corner there too. I, I don't know why, that just appeals to me. Let's take a look in there. I like it, I think it's a good use of space. Something neat here, they got a little step up at the counter and it goes this way and then steps up. So it's a little bit higher, so you're not bent over at the sink. I like that, too. Got your Frigidaire uh, dishwasher there to the left of the sink. And here at your island, on the other side, you've got, uh, I guess you could probably get three or four very comfortably on the other side of the island to, if you wanted to eat there. And you've got storage underneath. You've got power here on your island as well. And massive storage underneath there. Look at that. That's pretty big. Be a place for your pots and pans. And keep walking along here. It does have three windows here at the sink area, all of which open. And we're going to walk over here to the laundry area, which is right off your kitchen. It's also where your heating and air is uh, tucked away right here on the right. And then you've got your place for your uh, washer and dryer hookups right there. And if you pan to the left, you've got your back door, so that does let it double as a mudroom. You can take your dirty clothes off, put them right there in the washer and the dryer. And we have people asking about the electrical panel. There it is. Again, I don't know anything about electricity, but uh, you guys asked for it. There it is. And so you have another little uh, space right over here. Now your door opens there, so I don't know if you could put anything there, but you might could put a clothes hamper on the back side of it, I guess. And so you got a little space there. You would have to close the door to access it. That would be the only thing. All right, so let's go back out, and we're going to come back over, and we're going to head back to the right side of the house. The left side is from here is going to be where your uh, master is, and we'll tour that last. And we start down, and I told you the dining area is in its own separate little alcove area. And there's a wide opening here, so you could bring another table in if you wanted. But I'm going to step in here. It's got one vent in here. It's also got uh, one, two, three, four electrical outlets in here. And it's got can lighting. It's got two can lights in the ceiling overhead for lighting. And you do have your window in here for natural lighting as well. 
So we're going to step back out here and head back down to the left and go into the den area. I really like what they did with this den. And as you come down the hallway, you immediately open up into the den. You do have your uh, hookups for your TV. You could probably get at least a 70-inch TV, maybe 85-inch TV there. Uh, and then you've got windows overhead. Don't look like they open. But if you pan back to the left, you've got three for a lot of natural light there. You have, it looks like, two vents in the floor uh, right here on this wall. And again, right here in front of the windows. We'll pan back around just a little bit and let you guys take a look. You've got the bookshelves there that are built in. Ceiling fan overhead, and again, they continued with the can lighting. Now, the next thing you're going to notice, we're going to step straight into this other little small hallway right here. And to the right, there's a bedroom. To the left, there's a bedroom. And straight ahead is your guest bathroom. And it's pretty much standard with your uh, tub-shower combo here. You have a window for natural lighting overhead. It is one of the smaller windows. I don't think that one opens either. Uh, and you've got your canned lighting and exhaust fan uh, in the ceiling here. Pan back down let you guys take a look at the laboratory and the mirror area. And standard storage underneath. You do have one vent in this room. And we're going to back out of here. And one thing I forgot to point out, this is where the uh, Ecobee uh, heating and air control is right there. Of course, you can control it from the other side of the house with your Wi-Fi controller. We're going to step in here to the uh, bedroom. This is one of your guest bedrooms. Go pan back around. You've got one window in here. And you have one vent in the floor over here in front of the closet, which we're going to pan to now. And there's your vent. And you have two canned lights in the ceiling. And we're going to open up this closet, let you take a look, see what you got for size there. It's kind of your standard closet. It does have the wire shelving. Again, you know, those are upgradable. You can do that on your own if you want to. We'll put links in the description for Amazon. And we're going to finish up this side of the house. We're going to check out the other bedroom really quick. And then head on over to what you guys always want to see, the master bedroom and the master bath. And we'll get away from those squeaking smoke detectors. <laughs> All right, and this is basically just a mirror image of the, uh, the other guest room that we just saw. It just uh, flipped around, and I'm sure the closet will probably be the same size. So we're going to take a look in here. Yep, looks like the exact same closet. Now I'll have to look at the specs on the... Uh, on the uh, layout of the house and see if those are the same size but they look the same size to me so we're going to walk back down again you'll notice can lighting throughout the house and we're going to walk in and take a look at your master bedroom and master bath next and then we'll talk about pricing and if you guys haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button for us doesn't cost you a thing helps us out so that these videos get out to more people and they are still setting this up. This is a sneak peek, so there are things here in the, in the bedroom. I see two uh, heating and air vents right here in the floor, one on this wall and then one over there. There may be another one over there. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look peek over there. You have two windows for your natural lighting, both of them open. You've got four can lights overhead. And then the door's not on the walk-in closet, but uh, here's your, where your door would be. And we're going to just walk in there. It does have lighting inside the walk-in closet. It looks like one can light in the ceiling. And then you've got the wire shelving here. Again, very upgradable. Links will be in the description if you want to order any of those uh, shelves from Amazon. And it's got the uh, faux hardwood floor in here as well. Light switch right there as you come in. So now let's step out and uh, take a look at the master bath. And that's what I know a lot of you guys like to see. And it doesn't have the door on, but you know, I'm sure by the time, if you want to come see this in person, you will get to see the door. So you're going to see that massive bathtub. We'll take a closer look at that here in a second, but we're going to pan to the right here and you do have the two sinks side by side. That's a must-have for most everybody these days. 
and you've got your two can lights right over your mirror there. Pan up, take a look at those. And then pan back to the left here from the doorway. You've got your shower. It is that walk-in style shower with the door. Sort of that single unit design and it does have the seat on there as well. So we're going to go on over and walk on in and you'll see your uh, toilet here to the left. Heating and air uh, vent right there beside it. We're going to pan back over and get to take a look at this tub. It's one of those really large tubs, uh, so if you're kind of tall, you, you got, they got you covered. Plenty of area around here for your shampoo, your conditioner, whatever else that you got. And then you do have a large window over here. Now, I know some people like those, some people don't. But it's really good to have them in here. That way you can open it up, let steam out if you have to, um, in addition to your exhaust fan. You could toss a curtain there if you, you know, if you live in a more uh, developed area where you got a lot of neighbors. So, all right, we're going to take a walk back out here and take a look and see what this uh, home cost. And again, the pricing will be at the time of uh, filming. It's subject to change. And we are here in January 2024. And as promised, the Lewis is a three bedroom, two bath, 1,736 square feet. And the price as shown here in this package is $136,500. And of course that comes with your setup and everything. You can talk to the good people here at Clayton Homes and find out more about it. We don't work for Clayton Homes, uh, so they can answer a lot more questions about customizability, financing, that sort of thing uh, to protect your investment. Talk to them, they can tell you all about it. We're going to go out that door right now, though, and watch the next home tour here at Clayton Homes in Anniston. Come and go with us. Click that video in the upper right-hand corner.